Hi kids, I'm Sarah and today we're talking about a very special baby. <laughs> Last week, our Bible verse was this, Romans 3, 23. Everyone has sinned, no one measured up to God's glory. And that can leave us feeling a little bit like this. <laughs> but don't worry, because that's only the first part of the story. There's more! There's a lot more. Do you remember last week where we talked about how some things have been passed down from generation to generation and that one of those things was sin and that this sin was something that had been passed down since the beginning of time. And that's still all true, but there's more to the story. Phew, there's more, what is it? God had a plan. A plan? A very good plan. So what is a very good plan? God had a very good plan to save us. And he told this very good plan to some shepherds who were watching their sheep one night a long time ago. One special night, there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared among them. And the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified, but the angel assured them don't be afraid, I bring you good news that, that will bring great joy to all people. The Saviour, the Messiah, the Lord has been born today in Bethlehem. You will recognise him by this, this sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth lying in a manger. This baby is our Saviour. Every baby in the world inherited sin from their parents, but not this baby. He was no ordinary baby. He was the son of God and the savior of the world. This baby was Jesus and he came to be our savior. Our savior? How is he our savior? He's our savior because he saved us. He did the one thing that we could never do. Jesus came to pay the price for our sins. Even though he did nothing wrong, he still took the punishment for you and for me by dying on the cross. He did that for me? That's right. He did all of that just for us because he loves us. Wow, he must love us a lot. He does. And the great news is that Jesus didn't stay dead. Three days later, he rose again, which means that sin no longer has any sort of power or hold on us. So Jesus saved us for dying on the cross for our sin? That's right, and he did all this because he loves us very much. And that actually leads us to our fifth Bible verse in our series on fantastic verses and where to find them. John 3.16 God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son. Anyone who believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. There is no doubt that us humans need some sort of saving. We all do things every day to hurt ourselves and other people. Sometimes we do things that are selfish. Sometimes we are thoughtless. Whatever the reason, we know these things are wrong and we know we need to make up for them. There are many people who have tried to come up with a solution to this problem. They've invented religions and philosophies to, to see if they can figure out some sort of way to save us from our own sin but nobody could come up with anything because the truth is that only Jesus can save us. God knew we couldn't save ourselves and he loved us so much. He refused to abandon us. God gave us a savior. He gave us a man who never sinned, who will take the punishment of sin for the whole world on his shoulders. Jesus came to do for us what we couldn't do for ourselves. All we have to do is believe and Jesus will forgive us. If we believe in Jesus, we will have eternal life. That sounds a lot like our fantastic verse, but it's not just a fantastic verse, it's the story of the whole Bible. Believe in Jesus Christ as your savior and you will be saved. So John 3, 16 is the next verse we're going to put on our collection sheets. And remember, when you collect all mine, you will get a mega prize. Well, that's it for me today, but I have one last thing to say. Remember, God loves you. <laughs>